Yikes. Moonin's gonna be a tough topic. There are a lot of people who are either playing the hell out of her, or avoiding her completely and just trying to avoid the pact of sweaty side mains. Moonin's only been out for one week, so I haven't been able to get a ton of time on her, but I got her to at least level 10, so I've got some decent knowledge on her. I can't say I entirely enjoyed it either, though. I mean, yes, I'm glad there's a new legend after such a long wait, but I'm honestly not a Scyther bow player. I'm not a furry either, BMG. I never was. Anyways, let's hop on to her 6. Of course she's a new legend, so she's bound to have some stupidly broken sigs. Bow and sig is a lot like Jala's sword and sig. I'm sure the hitboxing is different, but it plays out nearly the same. This is her worst bow sig, honestly, but it's still super solid for catching falling enemies. It gets overshadowed by the other two sigs anyways. Bow side sig is honestly a hell to deal with. It's rather safe because the recover time after using it is pretty quick, and when using it offstage, you can keep your enemy really low down. I fought this sig a lot over the last week, and I'm not sure if it's just me being a moron, or if the sig is legitimately busted. So you tell me. Bow down sig though is hands down broken. We can all agree on that. It covers both sides of Moonin and Moonin at the start. It is super quick and you can recover quickly from it. It also has like 20 plus true combos or something, although those are super specific, so while those could be an issue, I don't see it as the main one towards down sig. All I know is that this sig needs a nerf quickly. Scythe in sig hits in a fairly generous area and could probably be used gravity cancel off stage. I can see it working anyways. This sig I don't have a lot to say on because I never really have issues with it. It's just alright. Side sig is the same case, and honestly I'm not sure which is better. Although both sigs are still super good, just not like, oh my god, S tier broke and immediate nerf broke. Side down sig, on the other hand, I think is our most broken side sig. It gives me huge nice spear down sig vibes, and it doesn't go as far back, but I'm sure the recovery time is much lower. But just the fact that you jump back and send that huge music wave in front of you, even though Nye's down sig is much bigger, I feel like that sig is much more counterable, for its own reasons. But Moon in Sight down sig feels too quick to counter, and maybe the force is a tad bit too high. Although, I'm just spitballing here. She's only got three skins, so let's wreck through them. Hugin, I honestly think, is the best skin for Moon in. The haircut and outfit is super rad. I slammed my pants. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I, <coughs> I had something in my throat. The DJ Hugin is pretty rad too, it, it gives me good vibes. The default Moon in skin is in pretty good tier. It looks pretty dope and has amazing color swaps, actually. And then Magpie Moonin is just about average, I'm not a fan of how they changed their look with it. Tier list wise, out of S, A, B, C, and D, as of now, I'd place Moonin in S tier. Scythe and Bow are arguably two of the best weapons in the current meta, and her sigs go super hard. I'm just glad that she won't be tournament legal for BCX, because otherwise she'd be the only thing we would see. I don't want another BCX 2020 happening. I think she'd definitely be a pick because of the broken sigs and top tier weapons, although there's another reason I need to throw in, that being her stats. Of course they give us Scythe Bow Legend high speed, it was only necessary since, you know, it's a raven. It was bound to happen. Her stats consist of 5 strength, 6 dex, 4 defense, and 7 speed. But like I said, the high speed is why people play her, of course. I'm glad she has lower attack and defense though, just to balance that out. Although, otherwise she would be super overplayed, which she already is, but I mean even more. Although I would have given her one more dex point taken from whatever, honestly. Personally, I would play defense dance only, although since I'm the only person on earth who thinks speed isn't as good as people say it is, speed stance would be the optimal stance for the average scythe player base. Dex and attack stance are an absolute no. Of course a high speed scythe legend and a scythe legend in general is going to be the most played legend in the game. Although these numbers aren't completely adjusted since she just came out, so maybe we'll come back to it later on. Overall, Moonin is arguably the next Mordex. That or the next Nyx, we have no clue how popular she's going to be until time passes by. I know I really won't be playing her all that much. That is unless I do random and get her, or when leveling up my legends makes me play her. It's bound to happen, but it's not like Artemis or Zol where I absolutely won't play the legend. Either way, that wraps it up for this analysis. Take a majority of the things I said with a pinch of salt as Moonin is new. We all know this. Legend analysis next week of course, vote for a legend and keep on brawling.